Today I want to talk about soybean pod and flower abortion. Soybeans typically abort 60-70% of their flowers or pods, which says there's a lot of potential here to capture. But what triggers that abortion can be small things uh, on a day-by-day -day -day basis. Could be the herbicide you spray. When we spray a diphenyl ether on a plant that's flowering, within 48 hours we'll know the, which flowers and which pods are going to abort. Could be hail. Could be nothing more than four or five cloudy days in a row that really shuts down photosynthesis. You see the pot abortion. The field that we're in here today has received almost 11 inches of rain in the last four days, so it is saturated. Of course, some of the beans will be out of oxygen long enough, they'll die. But the other ones, like we're looking at here, will start to show the stress from that rain event. And what we're doing out here today is look at what effect did it have on potential pot abortion. And it is aborting flowers and pods. We can tell off the bottom because we can see them here on the ground. So as we open this canopy up, we can see pods on the ground. I have a pod here, there's one here, and there's one here. These two have fallen off today. That one fell, we fell off yesterday. So we can get a kind of an idea what the environment has done for us. If we did a spraying or we had hail or in this case too much water, are we aborting pots? And the answer here is yes, we're aborting pots and yes, it's probably going to affect the yield somewhat.